it gives it also the nitrogen in the ground. Whoa! Well, that's hard to break a wine. Hey, welcome back to the town. If you guys are following our channel, you know that we are trying to clear our woods out and replant natives of plants back. So our good friend, Kevin, big shout out to Kevin, don't say his last name, won't flash him out there, but he has uh, graciously ordered a bunch of trees that are native to our area and has, uh, again, graciously, graciously uh, shared those with us. So today we're gonna plant some elderberry bushes uh, they get about uh, 12 foot tall, and they're, they're when they're fully grown, they'll be about four foot wide. And uh, three will uh, come out. I don't know if you guys had elderberry jam, but it's pretty good. Uh, it, they'll fruit somewhere around August, uh, and they possibly will fruit a little bit this year. So we'll we'll get seeds planted, and we'll sing the uh, see you when they when harvest comes. So we're going to use the tree as a kind of as a guideline, but you're going to get rid of that tree, right? Right. We're going to go right down through here. Here's the property line right here. So this is going to be like a natural fence too, because these kind of grow out into little bushes. So we'll come right down through here. This is the property line over here, but we'll come over about four, four feet over. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe that's more like... I was kind of kind of going like an angle maybe. Well, I want to follow the property line, about six... But you have to make enough room to get to put the tractor behind it because you want to put the fence up. Well, eventually these trees are going to go. But you still need room for the tractor to go behind right, it, so we need to go, go it needs to go a further four. All right, we'll go eight foot out, ten foot out. Let's go ten foot out, right here. We'll just go straight from here, start right here, and every four foot we're going to put a hole. And then we'll... Uh, we got 25 of them. Well, we can't put them all out on this, this area. Now, we could do is put one here and then stagger them, you know, four foot and then stagger them. That way you'll have like a double wall. We have to go around this tree here and then eventually we come back and cut that down with the, and then stump grind it down. Well, I was kind of maybe think about straight, make a line from right there to here maybe, not get too close to the bush so you can still walk around, walk around it maybe to harvest the, pl the, you know, the flowers and the berries. If you get too close, you have all the stuff. Back there, you're gonna- You'll have uh, the wall over there. Yeah. Okay, well then let's just let this be the guy. Yeah, and just we'll, kind of straight right here. We'll put one here. So you want to go over there? Right here. If I, I'm using the big tree right there as a guideline. So I'm going to and a then go straight. Yes, because if you put them right here, you have them grow up, it will be harder to get to it, and you cannot go behind with the mower. Okay, we got a plan. So we're going to go, and we can go down through there a pretty good ways now. Yeah, we just go make a line going down, even down the hill. Right, because that's going to be our trail we walk down, so we yeah. can actually go down the trail and yeah, pick exactly. elderberries. And they smell really good too. Good, I never smell them. Yeah, they smell good. I probably have smell them. All right, I'm just gonna go hit the holes about every four feet uh, and then until we get to all the way down there. Okay. Elderberries, we've done our research on these and elderberries need to be planted in the spring, which is like how we're wearing a uh, lake mark or at Lake Cole. Uh, and it needs to be like full sun to par for vine. So this is going to be perfect here because this is par for sun in the morning and the evening it gets full sun. So it's about a perfect uh, uh, area. Also the soil needs to be uh, well drained. You don't want to put it into something that stays wet all the time and rot the reeds it bites. It likes uh, just moist ground, normal moist ground, but no, nothing wet wet. So this is actually a perfect place to put out very flitches. Well, then now, so I'm going to take 474 and go through here and pop about one foot hole uh, every four feet down and as far down as we can go and this will be our little trail that we're gonna walk the side and hopefully soon be ticking from the berry. Kinda.
Looks good. Right there. Looks good. So we got 25 bushes, I mean trees, that we're going to have to try to get in today. So Good! So we need 25 holes. Keep going. Right there. Looks good. Maybe too close. Too close? Yeah, a little bit. More. But right there. Looks good. Sure. Yeah. That's good. Deep enough. Don't go so deep, babe. Right there. Hard right, going downhill. Right there. Good. Right there. down, not a whole bunch. Whoa! That's, well, that's hard to break a wine. It's like a spaghetti noodle. That is, uh, that was a, hang on. It's like a spaghetti noodle, rolling them up. That's how people's arms get wrapped around. You're welcome. Go back. A little bit more. Right there. Looks good. Good. Kind of go with the trail, okay? I gotta go where the tractor can go. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. That's good, right there. Don't go any further. Yeah. Now go back. Go back a little bit more. Right there. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's get those planted first. Try go uphill. I need to drive What angle turn? Hang on, let me see how many holes we got.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's sixteen right here. Good. I think we should quit right here. Okay, let's stop here because too much stuff going on there. So now we're just gonna put, we got some 12-12-12, uh, kind of an all-purpose fertilizer. Stuff that's like gold. We're just gonna put a whole, a little, about a half a handful in each one. Tanya dug this whole too deep. Tanya yeah, that's gonna be hard to fill up. That's what, it's gonna be okay because you're doing it. I'm just doing the fertilizer. Yeah, fertilizer has this time um, like gold right on We need to piece of the soils fast. Fertilizer by the first one. See. Now, we're pussy. We use sparingly now, like I used to just go tap fertilizer on our whole garden. You used to go crazy on it. Huh? You used to go crazy on it. Yeah, but now we put fertilizer only like we were doing foreign, and we only put it right where Korean can borrow like corn. Or if we're playing right, and we plant the forest, and then. We come back and sprinkle the fertilizer over the corn rows so that we're not fertilizing everything else. What well, used to cost three dollars, two, three dollars a bag, now it costs like twenty-five. It's crazy. You have to be really smart how you do things these days. You cannot just waste stuff anymore. And it's also if you can find it. Yeah. We looked. Uh, Lowe's quit carrying twelve, twelve, twelve. They quit carrying these uh, granular fertilizer anymore. So I am going to put them in. Yep. And then we're going to put a little bit of straw around it just to show that we are knowing that there's something planted, okay? Yeah, okay. You, I'm going to run the camera now. So with all the leaves on the ground right now too, it gives it also the nitrogen in the ground. So, yes it does. The leaf gives the ground ni nitrogen. It makes things grow really good. So Tanya's got uh, quite, a bit, quite a bit of leaves here around. Those leaves will, they will break down over a period of time and become organic. We've got a handful of fertilizer in there. So it's good to get everything that it needs. And I'm gonna put a little bit Hey, around just to show that we planted something here. Just keep me from mowing it. That and for us to know where it is. We need to get some mulch around it. Some There's mulch. big root right here. Big root here. Yes, yeah, real small one. 